In today's discussion on electrical measurement, we will talk about AC potentiometer. The contents are what is an AC potentiometer, requirements of an AC potentiometer, types of AC potentiometer, what is polar type AC potentiometer, coordinate type AC potentiometer, and what are the applications of an AC potentiometer. The principle of AC potentiometer is exactly similar to that of a DC potentiometer. But unlike DC port, AC potentiometer measures both the magnitude of voltage and the phase angle. In the standardization of an AC port, an electrodynamometer type ammeter is used to measure both the AC and the DC currents. The objective of port standardization is to make it direct reading, ensuring compatibility and interoperability. Given below is an elementary circuit diagram of an AC port where we see there are a couple of strata windings and one rotor winding. Standardization is the process of adjusting the working current to match the dropping voltage across a portion of the sliding wire against a standard cell of power supply. The standardization is done with the help of a standard DC source that is standard cell or a Zener source and a transfer instrument. A transfer type instrument is one that may be calibrated with a DC source and then used without modification to measure AC. This requires the transfer type instrument to have the same accuracy for both DC and AC. The transfer instrument is usually an electrodynamometer type milliammeter the ammeter is so constructed that it responds to AC and DC are same. The ammeter is calibrated for DC supply and then brought to the same setting in AC supply. As shown in the given figure, in order to standardize the AC potentiometer, the slide wire circuit is switched on to a DC supply. The standard current is obtained using a standard cell. Following are the few prerequisites for a highly efficient AC port. 1. AC power supply must ensure perfect sinusoidal signals nullifying the effects of harmonics to the possible extent, otherwise it is very difficult to achieve the balancing point. During voltage comparisons, the AC port voltage value must be very accurate as AC reference is not available in the circuit. At all instances, the compared voltages must be equal in both magnitude and phase angle. The current in the port circuit must have same phase and frequency as that of the voltage under measurement. The stray magnetism must be compensated before carrying out the measurement. And finally, non-inductive elements, for example ceramic or carbon composite, should be used for making the wiper and the coil resistance. The AC port is broadly categorized into two types based on the method of measurement. Polar type, where measurement is represented in the polar form that is voltage and theta. The magnitude is measured in one scale and the phase on a second scale capable of reading up to 360 degrees. And secondly, coordinate type. Magnitude and angle measured on two different scales using two different potentiometers. The first scale reads the in phase voltage component V1, and the second scale reads the quadrature component of the unknown voltage V2. V1 and V2 are out of phase by 90 degrees because of the two stator arrangements. In polar type potentiometer, Two scales measure magnitude and phase angle separately. It comprises an electroanimator type ammeter, DC potentiometer with non inductive resistance coil, Drysdale single phase phase shift transformer. There is a combination of two ring shaped laminated steel stator in the phasor shift transformer as shown below. One ring is connected to the power supply while the other ring is in series connection with the R and C component. The series components R and C maintain constant AC supply for the potentiometer. In between the two stators, there is a laminated rotor. 
there is a small air gap between the stators and the rotor. With current flowing through the stator, the rotor winding induces an EMF. The phasor displacement of rotor EMF is equal to the rotor movement angle from its original position. This displacement is also related to the stator supply voltage. The winding arrangement is such made that the phase angle is not affected by the changes in the magnitude of the induced EMF in rotor. The phase shifting transformer provides active power flow control by enforcing or blocking loads or retract loads and reduce the loop power flow. The induced EMF in the rotor winding due to the stator winding 1 with phase angle phi is given as E1 equal to Ki sin omega t cos phi. The induced EMF in the rotor winding due to the stator winding 2 is given as E2 equal to Ki sin 90 plus omega t cos 90 plus phi which translates to minus Ki cos omega t sin phi. Combining the two equations we get E equals Ki sin omega t minus phi. It is seen that the rotor EMF is of constant amplitude and the phase angle is dependent on the rotor position phi marked as Q or U in the figure. In the coordinate type potentiometer, two separate potentiometers are cased in one circuit named as in-phase and quadrature potentiometers respectively. By adjusting the rheostat R and R dash and the sliding contact, the in-phase and the quadrature current are made equal. This equality is reflected in a variable galvanometer VG. S1 and S2 are the polarity changing switches of the test voltage used for balancing the potentiometer. The current in the in-phase circuit is first adjusted and then the quadrature current is settled. V1 is the in-phase voltage and V2 is the quadrature voltage. The resultant voltage V and the phase angle theta are expressed as shown below. V equals under root V1 square plus V2 square and theta equals tan inverse V2 by V1. The power is provided from a single phase supply and T1 and T2 are the two step down transformers which isolate the potentiometer from the line voltage. The supply to T2 is obtained by adjusting resistor R and capacitor C for the phase splitting purpose. Quadrature phase displacement is obtained by adjusting the C and the R values as shown in the figure below. The in-phase and the quadrature potentiometer circuits are shown with the sliding contacts B, B dash and C, C dash and resistors R and R dash for current adjustment. S3 is a selector switch by which the unknown voltages to be measured are placed in the circuit. The selector switch when in position shown in the figure called the test position allows the current in the quadrature potentiometer slideware to be compared with that in the in-phase potentiometer wire utilizing the mutual inductance M for the purpose. After adjusting of the in-phase and the quadrature potentiometer the unknown voltage is switched in circuit by means of the selector switch S3 for measurement. The applications of AC potentiometer are listed below. Voltmeter calibration using volt ratio box or two capacitors in series. Ammeter calibration using non-inductive standard resistor. Wattmeter testing using a phase shifting transformer. Energy meter testing using a phase shifting transformer and self reluctance measurement of a coil. For further detailed reading, the viewers can refer to the following links. Thank you.